Hey guys, Alex Sturgeon here with the Hobbytown Hobbyplex for a uh, brand new What's New Wednesday. We're gonna get two in a row done this uh, summer so far. Uh, first off, we're just gonna get right into it. Uh, we have the new uh, nine shot wheels from J Concepts. We've got them in black and white. Right now we just have the front and rear in black. Uh, fronts are coming in white here shortly. Um, you know what's really cool about these is they're two regular 2.2. I think they were kind of directed towards the uh, uh, drag racing and dirt oval market, but uh, I kind of want to try them on my off-road car. I think they'd look really cool. It's not often you see off-roaders uh, giving a crap about what their wheels look like, so I think the spokes are going to be kind of cool. Okay, we got in, speaking of drag racing, we got in the DE Racing uh, Street Outlaws. Uh, for all of you drag racers out there, there's uh, quite a few different crews here in Omaha uh, that do drag racing. They're always trying to get better than their friends. Uh, we also got in the Proline uh, drag racing wheelie bar. I actually got this in last week and I forgot to put it in the show. Uh, this stuff's not necessarily new, but uh, it's been on back order for so long that it feels like it's new. Uh, it's some wordy made bumpers uh, for your SCX10, TRX4, uh, Element Enduro. And then we also got in these uh, really cool K&K &K, uh, brass servo blocks. Um, not necessarily brand new, but it's stuff that we've uh, kind of had sneak under the radar and they've sold really well, so they get to be on the show. Um, coming in yesterday, off the truck, brand new, the TR28 and the CR28 uh, from Team Associated. Their 28 scale line of uh, mini RC cars has uh, sold really well. Um, they started off with those Lucas Oil short course trucks and went to uh, the MT, uh, like the, the monster truck, and then they did the Fox uh, uh, vehicles, and then they had like their Jam and Jay Halsey replicas and stuff like that. Well, now they got a, a crawler and a truggy. Speaking of minis, again, not really new, but they've been on back order for so long that it kind of feels like it's new again. And that is the uh, all three versions of the Axial SCX 24s. Um, during this uh, last three or four months of craziness, um, we've been out of these for a while. We had a couple of them trickle in, and they were they were gone like that. Uh, that's not going to happen now. We have tons of them, and uh, so it's the Jeep, uh, the Chevy and the deadbolt, uh, they're here. Uh, 109 for the deadbolt, 119 for these guys, so it's a good price, that's why they sell really well. Okay, I wanted to bring this up because uh, the Comet Neowise is uh, supposed to be uh, visible now at night instead of in early morning. I've tried to catch it a few times and unfortunately, every time I've actually woken up in the morning, because I'm not a morning person, uh, I've actually woken up in the morning, it's been cloudy and I missed out on it over here. But supposedly at night now it's going to be visible over there. So I thought I'd bring out uh, one of our uh, telescopes that we've been getting in. Um, the CF700, uh, so what's really cool about this, it's a refraction telescope. And what's really cool about these uh, National Ge Geographic branded telescopes is right here, it's got the phone mount. Uh, this is something that uh, you can buy off like Amazon and stuff for older telescopes. And what you can do is you can take your phone and set it in there and the viewer looks in there so you can kind of see more of what you're doing and also take pictures and stuff uh, it's an easy way to take uh, you know pictures through your telescope otherwise you gotta have like a computer and all that other stuff um, or what I've done in the past is uh, we had a customer who had a problem with one of theirs he swore it didn't work and I'm like it's a telescope they either, there's no way it doesn't work right so I went up and I got pictures of the moon and I got Saturn and I was like I gotta have proof so I put my phone up there and I was like <clears throat> and I got it and it worked it actually worked so um, that's kind of cool and it comes with it, so you don't have to buy it separate. Um, okay, I, I'm not sure if I've ever had the USS Reliant. This is a Miranda class uh, Star Trek starship. It's crazy that I know that without looking at the box, but um, this is uh, the Reliant. They also make sticker sheets. You can make this see some of the other ones that are out there. Um, those names I don't know, but uh, um, this is the first time I've seen this ship in this size. We've had it. I think in a Polar Lights kit in a bigger size, but this is the first one I've seen in this one. This is uh, this is from Star Trek II, probably the greatest Star Trek movie um, ever, but, but Khan takes over the Reliant and uh, and then he uh, attacks Kirk's ship and uh, and then and then like Kirk like puts in the the code to take down the shields and then the guy's like, our shields are down! and and, and Khan's like, raise them! And then he's like, I can't! And then he hits the thing, and then he goes, fire! And the whole thing goes down. And then uh, at the end, 
when he turns on the Genesis, he's like, uh, he's like, to the last I spit my last breath at thee, like like Khan does with his chest, like Ricardo Montalban's chest just like hanging out. And he's like, I am Ricardo Montalban. All right. Uh, also not new, but something I don't think I've ever had on here before. Uh, we have several different kinds of these uh, model engines. Um, this one's one of the more popular ones. I've worked here for 16 years. I know we've had it. I know this has been out longer than that. And uh, what you do is you build it. It's got a little crankshaft, and you turn it. You can actually see how a V8 engine works. So if you got um, kids, uh, you know that are kind of getting in engines, want to see how they work, that's a really good way to do it. Or if you've got a uh, adult kid who uh, likes engines, uh, you can get that for him too, and you can put it together. And finally, uh, we got to have a little bit of fun. Uh, so we got a couple different things here. Um, We've got a grow unicorn, so uh, I believe you just you just add water to this thing, and then a unicorn head pops up out of it. So you can see here, add water, 12 to 24 hours, and after 48 hours, you have a unicorn. Interesting. Uh, we've got um, Mr. Uh, so this is like a fidget spinner, but it does like emojis. Uh oh, did I break it? I didn't break it. Uh, so there's a happy one. That's good. Oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> uh. so different ones, um, interesting. And then finally, uh, you know, we've talked about uh, slime and putty. That was kind of the rage. Um, it's kind of weird. We went from like fidget spinners to 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 the putty uh, and the and the slime and everything. Uh, it's still a thing. They still sell really well. And uh, we've got some different ones. So these are scented. So you have uh, uh, berry vanilla. Caramel corn, and finally, uh, cheese pizza. Mmm. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Uh, so yeah, those are uh, that's uh, crazy errands, and uh, they still sell really well and do really well. So um, that's it. You know, not a huge amount of stuff, but enough stuff uh, that we can get one of these videos in. Uh, again, I like making them for you guys. Um, that's about it. We got the TCS race uh, coming up this weekend. Uh, uh, after hours will we'll definitely be on unless that guy calls in sick again. And uh, and then I'll have to be here and do the drawer, but hopefully not. And then um, uh, the TCS race this weekend, so we'll make some videos of, of that. And uh, and uh, we should be a pretty active weekend here on YouTube for the Hobbytown Hobbyplex. So um, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll make a new video for you guys soon.